You know, this old shunt modded 2080 Ti with the 2000 watt BIOS sure has been good to me. Wicked, wicked GPU. But you know what? I think it's about time to retire this beast. But what on earth could ever even come close to replacing it? Say, hey, what's up, guys? So, it just came. I got it. RTX 3090 Kingpin Edition. Want to have a look at it? Well, the tape's cut loose. I guess it's just a tight fit. Alright. There we go. Oh, good lord. What do we got here? Of course, it's never easy on video, right? You'd naturally be farting around with it on video. Nobody who's watching it would be really easy, right? Well, I guess you got a way to look at it there. There's a side window. Case badge, EVGA case badge, and the stuff is stuck in there real bad. So we've got, uh, looks like uh, fan screws. Oh no, that's, the, that's for the uh, sensors. You hook up like your voltage meter. A little uh, Velcro tie. 
50% off. Just a bunch of uh, different things here. CVGA case badge. And here's the uh, 360 radiator. That's a real beast. Looks like this uh, fan came unplugged there, so. And there's the GPU. So, enough of that. This is going to replace my shunt modded 2080 Ti that uh, some of you are familiar with. It's uh, set some killer uh, benchmark scores, that type of thing. Uh, just a wicked GPU. This is going to be better. So let me go put this thing on and then we'll do some benchmarks, alright? Be right back. So basically what we're doing here is 16 different benchmarks with the 2080 Ti with the firmware at defaults and then followed by the 3090 kingpin in the same uh, benchmarks also with firmware defaults uh, in the uh, port royal since that's focused on ray tracing i'm going to run it with uh, ltsc which is uh, 1809 as well as 2004 to debunk the myth that newer versions of windows 10 are actually better for uh, ray tracing that's poppycock as you can see in this table they're exactly the same so let's have a look at this all right hang tight
right, first impressions, let's wrap this up. Uh, crazy awesome GPU, runs like a banshee. Uh, what can I say? I haven't overclocked it yet, just worked on this video for you guys first to give you some stock 2080 Ti versus uh, 3090 uh, comparisons so that you can help make a decision what you, what you want to do. Uh, other thoughts, um, obviously this is not the ideal setup for my open bench. Not a fan of the hybrid, but uh, Hydro Copper is not available right now. So I just have this radiator kind of sitting here. There's no way to really integrate it into my open bench very well. I uh, really want to get it looped into the chiller. And uh, I guess the best way to do, do that is to get a water block. If the hydrocopper is not available soon for a decent price, I'll probably look into Optimus PC. Um, they should be having a Kingpin 3090 water block uh, sometime in January or February. I've already contacted them about that. I have an Optimus uh, signature block on my CPU and it's awesome. They make some awesome products. So, um, But overall, it, you know, nice GPU. Is it worth it? Well, if you're chasing numbers and need to get ever-increasing benchmark scores, maybe. If you're into gaming, unless you're really super into uh, ray tracing and that kind of thing, probably not. A stupid expensive, crazy, crazy expensive, even for a normal 3090. Uh, it is, NVIDIA said about 30%, I think. Um, increase over 2080 Ti. Uh, I don't remember the exact number they said but that seems pretty accurate as you can tell from the the benchmarks that I ran. So, But if you're into gaming uh, and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you've got a 2080 Ti, uh, really should look into doing a shunt mod. I've got pictures posted that you can look at which resistors need to be shunted and that's pretty simple if you have a little bit of soldering skill um, and then you can use the 2000 watt uh, BIOS from Galaxy or the Kingpin 2000 watt BIOS um, that's what I used on my 2080 Ti and sucker runs 2250 on core gotta keep it cold though or else it won't do that so you're not going to do that on air or normal liquid loop but uh, you can run the voltage up to about 1.125 volts and it's really awesome. It blows the doors off of any other 2080 Ti, including the Kingpin. So, anyhow, thanks for watching my video. I uh, appreciate you guys, and remember to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, take care and God bless.